This is Dartmoor, an area of moorland in Devon, England, that covers almost a thousand square kilometres. This wild, wet and windy countryside is the setting for the famous Sherlock Holmes mystery, The Hound of the Baskervilles. In 1896, Arthur Conan Doyle, the man who created the fictional detective Sherlock Holmes, wanted to stop writing detective stories. He wrote a short story called The Final Problem, in which Sherlock appears to have fallen to his death at the Reichenbach Falls. However, Sherlock Holmes was so popular that the author received thousands of letters asking him to bring the character back. There were far too many letters to ignore. Conan Doyle needed a new Sherlock Holmes story. Then, in 1900, he met Bertram Fletcher Robinson. Robinson, who was working as a journalist at the time, told Doyle about an old legend from rural Devon. The myth was about a cursed family and a huge black dog that hunted and finally killed each member of the family. When Robinson introduced Doyle to the mysterious landscape of Dartmoor, the author knew he had found the setting for a brand new Sherlock Holmes adventure, The Hound of the Baskervilles. In the story, Holmes and his friend, Dr. Watson, investigate the murder of Sir Charles Baskerville. Sir Charles was apparently frightened to death by a huge dog, the Hound of the Baskervilles. If Holmes and Watson can solve the mystery of Sir Charles's murder, maybe they can save the life of his nephew, Sir Henry Baskerville. Dartmoor is a major character in the story too. These rocky hills, called Tors, feature a lot. In this wild landscape, they are important landmarks. And it's on a tour like this that Watson sees a thin, shadowy figure who he thinks is an escaped prisoner from the nearby Dartmoor prison but it was actually his old friend, Sherlock Holmes. Bronze Age hut circles like this one, which is almost 3,500 years old, are all over the moor. There are 24 hut circles here, and they provide Holmes with the perfect hiding place, where he can watch without being seen. In the story, Holmes sends Watson to Baskerville Hall for two reasons. To investigate the death of Sir Charles and to protect Sir Henry. Sherlock travels too, but he goes alone and in secret. If he had gone with Watson, everybody would have known that the famous detective was on the case. Instead, he secretly watches Baskerville Hall from one of these stone huts. In the end, Holmes reveals himself to Watson. He claims that if he hadn't hidden, he wouldn't have solved the mystery. He explains that Sir Charles wasn't killed by a big black dog. He was actually murdered by... Well, if I told you that, it would ruin the mystery, wouldn't it? You'll have to read it for yourself.